The road 180, road minus 180, Rocketny Divigatel minus 180, rocket engine 180, is a rocket engine designed and built in Russia. It features a dual combustion chamber, dual nozzle design, and is fueled by a kerosene LOX mixture. Currently, Road 180 engines are used for the first stage of the American Atlas V launch vehicle. The Road 180 is derived from the Road 170, Road 171 line of rocket engines, which were used in the Soviet Energia launch vehicle, and are still in use in the Russian, Ukrainian Zenit launch vehicles. History The roots of the Road 180 rocket engine extend back into the Soviet Energia launch vehicle project. The Road 170, a four-chamber engine, was developed for use on the strap-on boosters for this vehicle, which ultimately was used to lift the Buran orbiter. This engine was scaled down to a two-chamber version by combining the Road 170's combustion devices with half-size turbomachinery. After successful performances in engine tests on a test stand and high-level agreements between the U.S. government and the Russian government, the engines were imported to the U.S. for use on the Lockheed Martin Atlas III, with first flight in 2000. The engine is also used on the United Launch Alliance Atlas V, the successor to the Atlas III. The engine has similar design features to the NK-33, which was developed by a different bureau, Kuznetsov, nearly a decade earlier. Topic: 2014-2015 availability concerns. Doubts about the reliability of the supply chain for the Road 180 arose following the Russian military intervention in Ukraine in March 2014. For over 13 years since the engine was first used in the Atlas III launch vehicle in 2000, there was never any serious jeopardy to the engine's supply, despite an uneven record of U.S.-Russian relations since the Cold War. But worsening relations between the West and Russia after March 2014 have led to several blockages, including a short-lived judicial injunction from the U.S. courts that were unclear on the scope of the U.S. sanctions on importing the Russian engine. On the 13th of May 2014, Russian Deputy Prime Minister Dmitry Rogozin announced that Russia will ban the United States from using Russian-made rocket engines for military launches. A frequent payload of the Ula Atlas V launch vehicle, which powers its first stage with a single Road 180 engine that is expended after each flight. In response, the U.S. Air Force has asked the Aerospace Corporation to begin evaluating alternatives for powering the Atlas V booster stage with non-Road 180 engines. Early estimates are that it would require five or more years to replace the Road 180 on the Atlas V even if the Russian government does not cut off the supply to ULA of imported Road 180 engines. The U.S. Congress, with emerging support from the Air Force, has come around to a view that it would not be advantageous to the U.S. government to start up a U.S. production line to produce the Road 180. However, the U.S. Congress is advocating for the initiation of a new U.S. hydrocarbon rocket engine program, to field a new engine by 2022. In June 2014, Aerojet Rocketdyne proposed that the U.S. federal government fund an all new, U.S. sourced rocket propulsion system. The 2,200 kN class LBF thrust kerosene, LOX R1 rocket engine. As of June 2014, Aerojet's early projection was that the cost of the each engine would be under $25 million per pair of engines, not including the up to $1 billion estimated development cost to be funded by the U.S. government. Aerojet believed that the R-1 could replace the Road 180 in the U.S. evolved expendable launch vehicle fleet, and that it would be more affordable. On the 21st of August 2014, the U.S. Air Force released an official request for information (RFI) for a replacement for the Russian Road 180 rocket engine. The RFI seeks information on 
booster propulsion and or launch system material options that could deliver cost-effective, commercially viable solutions for current and future national security space launch requirements. Air Force Space Command is considering an acquisition strategy to stimulate the commercial development of booster propulsion systems and or launch systems for Evolved Expendable Launch Vehicle class spacelift applications. The day before, the United Launch Alliance had taken delivery of two Road 180s, the first since the Russian annexation of Crimea. It is not clear when the replacement of the Road 180 would start, and the RFI asked input for several options including similarity to the Russian engine, whether it would come in a new configuration and the use of alternative launch vehicles. For the EELV mission, in 2014 Road Amros were selling the Road 180s to ULA for $23.4 million each. In January 2015, Orbital Sciences Corporation have received all the necessary permissions from government bodies for the delivery of 60 engines from NPO Energomash. On 24 December 2015, United Launch Alliance announced that it placed an order for more Road 180 engines to be used by the Atlas V launch vehicle, in addition to 29 engines that the company had ordered before U.S. sanctions against Russia were introduced over Crimea, and just days after the U.S. Congress lifted the ban on the use of Russian engines to get American ships into space. U.S. production of the Road 180 United Launch Alliance announced in February 2015 that it was considering undertaking U.S. production of the Russian Road 180 engine at the Decatur, Alabama, rocket stage manufacturing facility. The U.S. manufactured engines would be used only for government civil NASA and commercial launches, and would not be used for U.S. military launches. This potential project is a backup plan to the new engine development work that ULA is undertaking with Blue Origin on the B-4. <laughs> Replacement for the Road 180 engine on U.S. Atlas launch vehicle As a result of the geopolitical and U.S. political considerations as 2014 progressed, United Launch Alliance initiated an effort to consider the possible replacement of the Russian-supplied Road 180 engine used on the first stage booster of the ULA Atlas V. Formal study contracts were issued in June 2014 to a number of U.S. rocket engine suppliers. In September 2014, ULA announced that it has entered into a partnership with Blue Origin to develop the B-4 LOX, methane engine to replace the Road 180 on a new first stage booster that would succeed the Atlas V at the time, the engine was already in its third year of development by Blue Origin, and ULA expects the new stage and engine to start flying no earlier than 2019. Two of the 2,400 kN lbf thrust B-4 engines will be used on the new launch vehicle booster. Dynetics and Aerojet Rocketdyne AJR have also offered their R-1 hydrocarbon-fueled rocket engine as replacement of the Road 180. ULA CEO Tori Bruno has said in early 2015 that both the R1 option and the U.S. manufacture of the Road 180 by ULA under license are backup options to the primary option ULA is pursuing with the Blue Origin B4 engine. By March 2016, the U.S. Air Force had signed development contracts with AJR and Blue Origin to provide funding toward engine development for both engines. Topic. Design and specifications The combustion chambers of the Road 180 share a single turbopump unit, much like in its predecessor, the four-chambered Road 170. The Road 180 is fueled by an RP-1, LOX mixture and uses an extremely efficient, high-pressure staged combustion cycle. The engine runs with an oxidizer to fuel ratio of 2.72 and employs an oxygen-rich preburner, unlike typical fuel-rich U.S. designs. 
The thermodynamics of the cycle allow an oxygen-rich preburner to give a greater power-to-weight ratio, but with the drawback that high-pressure, high-temperature gaseous oxygen must be transported throughout the engine. The movements of the engine nozzles are controlled by four hydraulic actuators. The engine can be throttled from 47% to 100% of nominal thrust. Topic applications During the early 1990s, General Dynamics Space Systems Division later purchased by Lockheed Martin acquired the rights to use the Road 180 in the Evolved Expendable Launch Vehicle EELV and the Atlas program. As these programs were conceived to support United States government launches, as well as commercial launches, it was also arranged for the Road 180 to be co-produced by Pratt & Whitney. However, all production to date has taken place in Russia. The engine is currently sold by a joint venture between the Russian developer and producer of the engine NPO Energomash and Pratt and & Whitney, called Road AMROSS. The Road 180 was first deployed on the Atlas IIAR vehicle, which was the Atlas IIA vehicle with the Russian hence the R engine replacing the previous main engine. This vehicle was later renamed the Atlas III. An additional development program was undertaken to certify the engine for use on the modular Common Core Booster primary stage of the Atlas V rocket. Topic: <laughs> Prospective uses. Road 180 was proposed to be used with a new family of Rus M Russian space launch vehicles, proposed by Roscosmos contractors, but the program was cancelled by the Russian Space Agency in October 2011. In March 2010, Jerry Gray, a consultant to the American Institute of Aeronautics and Astronautics and University Space Research Association and a former professor of aerospace engineering at Princeton University, suggested using the Road 180 for a Perspective NASA heavy lift launch vehicle. For those who might be concerned about too much reliance on Russia, he pointed out that Road Amros was very close to producing a U.S. built version of the Road 180, and with some infusion of NASA funding could be manufacturing that engine and perhaps even a 1,700,000 lbf or 7.6 MN thrust equivalent of the Road 170 in a few years. Topic. Prospective alternative In February 2010, despite the availability of necessary documentation and legal rights for producing Road 180 in the United States, NASA is considering development of an indigenous core stage engine that would be capable of generating high levels of thrust approximately equal to or exceeding the performance of the Russian-built engine. NASA considered in 2010 to produce a fully operational engine by 2020 or sooner, depending on partnership with the U.S. Defense Department. Topic. See also Comparison of orbital rocket engines Staged combustion cycle used in engine Road 191 derivative engine being developed for the Angara rocket Road 0124 used in the Soyuz 2. 1B Road 107 used in the R-7 Semyorka missiles and Soyuz FG Road 58 upper stage RP-1, LOX engine used in the N-1 rocket, derivatives used in the Proton and Zenit rockets <laughs>